Thank you, moderators. Uh, I present the long-term res result in better procedure, our experience. The ascending aorta disease is very frequent pathology in cardiac surgery. It's, estima it's estimated that the incidence is 10 uh, new cases for uh, 100,000 for years. And uh, the surgical option for uh, this uh, pathology are various. Homograft, autograft, composite graft, heterograft, vascular graft, heartoplasty, with or without valve prosthesis. In 1968, Bental et de Bono described a new technique for co uh, uh, complete replacement of ascending aorta with a composite graft. The current approach, uh, called the button technique, uh, is characterized by the total resection of aortic wall and reimplantation of mobilized coronary button to the graft. If you want, uh, if, do, if you do a research and PubMed about uh, a mental procedure, this is the result. 507 articles. And uh, it seems uh, that everything uh, was already said about the mental procedure. And for this, I hope not to be boring. But this is our surgical experience in ascending aorta and aortic root disease. In 25 years, mental procedure, uh, aort ascending aorta replacement with the procedure, Ross procedure in adults, sparing technique, uh, Tyron David 1 reimplantation, aortoplasty, and cabrol. And for this, uh, we want to give our contribution uh, analyzing the long term result in mental operation. We, uh, we selected 375 patients operated from January 1990 to December 2007. Our endpoint uh, was to evaluate the end point, uh, the mortality, the morbidity, the result technique related, and the predictor factor. This is the preoperative data in our series, the main age, is uh, 57, uh, 91 patients uh, with bicuspid aortic valve, 80 with annulus ectasia, 36, 36 patients with uh, uh, opera operated in emergency, uh, and uh, 67 uh, heart, a previous heart and aortic surgery. This is the, op the operative data. 47 patients received a Bental Classic. 328 a button technique. Since uh, uh, 1998, uh, we performed holy button technique. The largest part of our patients received a mechanical valve replacement uh, because uh, our policy is that the patients uh, younger than uh, 70 years received a mechanical valve if uh, there are no contraindications for anticoagulation. The result, in hospital mortality, the total hospital mortality is 4.5%. In uh, elective patients, 2.4%, in emergency, 22. The mean follow-up is 98 months, uh, complete to 90, 97%. In this table, there are the causes of the late mortality and late reoperation among survival of dental operation. This graphic shows the freedom from late whole causes mortality and the freedom from cardiovascular mortality. The freedom from late whole causes mortality at five and 10 years was 97% and 82%. The freedom from cardiovascular mortality at five and 10 years was 98% and 85%. This graphic shows the Survival curves with the Bental Classic versus Button Technique. As you can see, uh, are very similar, but uh, the number of two groups is uh, no uh, homogene homogeneity. Uh, in our multivariable Cox regression model, the age, the bicuspid aortic bulb, uh, an emergent operation were identified as an independent risk factor for late mortality. We could not find any previous report of the BAV as an independent risk factor. The pathophysiological alteration 
of the aortic wall in patients with the cuspid aortic valve are still unclear and may be one of the interpretation of the, of, it, of the association. In our experience, the above patients received an important percentage of reoperation at residual aorta, and this could be related with long-term mortality. But uh, our numbers are not uh, uh, enough to reach any conclusion. But uh, our idea uh, was supported by this article that uh, has, uh, um, uh, you see, the autopathy of the cuspid aortic valve disease usually involves the transverse aortic cart and the proximal descending aorta, thoracic descending aorta. The long-term morbidity analyzes the endocarditis, the thromboembolic events, the residual aorta operation, and the coronary artery pseudoaneurysm. We, uh, we have defined major cardiovascular events as fatal or non-fatal cardiovascular events. And this graphic shows how the risk of the MACVES increases during the year in our population. This is the, the use of mechanical prosthesis in dental operation require long-life anticoagulation therapy with the low but persistent risk of thromboembolic events. The freedom from major thromboembolic events at 10 and 50 years is 97 and 94 percent. The endocarditis remains the most frequent complication in long-term follow-up after dental procedure. The freedom from endocarditis in our series at 10 and 50 years is 96 percent and 88 percent. During the follow-up, there are nine dental failures. Six, pati six patients received a new dental procedure and three are nomographed uh, after the endocarditis. And 12 patients received an, uh, uh, an, uh, a reoperation at residual aorta. Nine dental failures, four for endocarditis, one for prosthetic valve dysfunction, and four for coronary button pseudoaneurysm. The bottom pseudoaneurysm is very important complication after dental procedure. Is the coronary ostia, uh, is, uh, the aortic wall, it's very important, the quality of the aortic wall. An incomplete resection of aortic wall around the coronary button may cause an anastomotic descent and therefore favors the formation of pseudoaneurysm. The button must to be small. Since a longer interval between the operation and the development of pseudoaneurysm is not unusual. Two possible solutions for this complication the fat reinforcement around the coronary button or the inclusion of the coronary button inside to the dacron prosthesis. Four patients, one for three percent, three patients for detachment of left coronary artery, and one patient for detachment of the right coronary artery. In two patients, the first operation was aortic dissection. Three patients were originally operated with the button technique and one with classic. All patients received a modified dental operation and are all alive. The limitation of this study is are the retrospective analysis, the nature of the follow-up, the homogeneity of the population in terms of acute and chronic situations. In conclusion, in our series age, BAV and emergent surgery are important independent predictor of long-term mortality. Our data relieved no statistical significant difference between the two surgical techniques in terms of bleeding, pseudoaneurysm, and reoperation. As you can say that the dental procedure is a safe and durable operation with a very good yearly and long-term result and a low rate of reoperation. According to our experience, it's, it's applicable with good result in acute and chronic disease of the aortic valve and root. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your presentation. Now the uh, uh, paper is open for discussion. And if you have some questions for, for uh, previous speakers, please, please ask, don't hesitate.
Would you like to comment, Professor Frigiola? See, I want to make a comment. First of all, congratulations, Alessandro. He's uh, our young uh, collaborator, surgeon, since a few years in San Donato, but he was taking care of this uh, paper and uh, is involved in uh, all this kind of surgery. Uh, the aortic surgery is nowadays a nice field, nice, but uh, also is a strange and a big challenge. Everybody try to do something new. Everybody is involved in different technique, in a different uh, uh, technology uh, solutions, but uh, one is uh, very important. The, the, we never have to uh, forget the results and the quality of life of the patients. And uh, if one technical solution has very low uh, risk and a good results, before to change and to go towards the new adventures, maybe we have to select uh, very well the patient and reflect a little bit more. I'm uh, speaking about the TAVI and some other solutions because the enthusiasm doesn't have never to, uh, we never have to forget that uh, the, the patient doesn't need experimentation because we want to do something different from the others. We do a TAVI, but we, we don't have to extend a TAVI to everybody, okay, like that, because the cerebral complications are still high. And if you have two, three times more complications cerebral in young patient, I don't know if it's uh, acceptable. So I saw that uh, the presentation of Professor Iliescu I was very happy because the engagement in aortic dissection, aortic root, and all kind of disease are nowadays a very, they have a good results and we can say we offer as a surgeon something very good, something, some solution. Don't change immediately, but take, stay with the foot uh, your feet on the ground. Okay.